Hi everyone! In this video we're going to recreate this knockout text in Design Space on a Mac computer, so keep watching. The first thing we're going to do is add our background text. I'm going to text. I want to use a nice chunky font, so I'm going to use Beefcakes, and there it is. Let's write Cricket. I'm going to change my color. That's optional, of course. It all depends on what you want your background to look like. And I'm going to use letter spacing to reduce the area between my letters. That looks good. We're going to get our top font. I'm going to use I Love Glitter, which is a free font on defont.com. And I'm going to do asterisk underscore Carol underscore asterisk. There we go. Again, we'll use letter space to join our letters together. Right click and flatten. Let's bring it up over our Cricut and increase the size. There we go, I think that's good. I'm going to make it. Click continue. We're going straight to send to printer. Once there, you're going to toggle on the use system dialog and click print. Go to PDF dropdown and click Open in Preview. There we have it. You can see that the bleed is on and you have a thicker font. That's exactly what we need. We'll go to File and Save. Give your project a name and then go to Format. Change the PDF to PNG or JPEG. These are the formats you can use to upload to Design Space. I'm going to choose PNG and save. We can cancel now. We don't need this window anymore and go back to Design Space. We'll cancel, say yes, and cancel again. We want to get back to our Canvas screen. I'm going to upload. I'm going to upload image and browse. I'm going to choose this test image that I saved as a PNG and open it. I always select image type complex and continue. I'm going to use my wand to delete all the large white background and you can remove the inside of the letters if you choose to, that's optional. You don't have to. If you want a chunkier cutout, you can just leave those. I'll switch to my eraser and I'll take out the registration box from our print and cut image. We don't need that. And don't worry if you miss anything. You can use contour on your design space canvas to get out anything that you missed. So we'll just take that out. That looks nice and clean. And we'll click continue. I'm going to select save as a cut image. It's a bulkier image, so I'm going to get a nicer cutout on my screen. So save as a cut image. I select that and insert image. There we go. 
we're just going to turn it horizontally. That looks straight. We'll put it on top of our Cricut. And you might want to size it down or make it wider, depending the look that you're going for. We're going to select both of these together, right click and slice. We'll take away these parts that we don't need anymore. We go back to our top font. I'm going to right click and unflatten. I'm going to no fill so that it's simply a cut file. I'm going to place it on top and I may have to move it around a little so that it fits nicely. Maybe a little smaller. There we go. That looks good. Okay. So there we have it. That's all there is to it. I hope this video will help you do knockout font in design space on your Mac computer. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching.